hello again guys all right so where we last off last left off in the previous video uh we were setting up the off canvas for both the transact button where when we click it it's going to show an off canvas from the left side this is where we will contain our transaction forms and then we have set up the off canvas on the right side this is where we will contain the form where we create our uh, where we add accounts all right so there's another thing that i wanted to add here which is an accordion so now i hope this doesn't piss you guys off but look like i said in the previous video a lot of the stuff that i'm using are bootstrap heavy and i already downloaded these uh, these components onto my machine and copied them over into separate files all right so this is the accordion that i, I used within the original video okay so like, like just like the off canvas um you can get these if you downloaded the bootstrap package the latest bootstrap package and the accordion um uh, you will get them within the new um if you downloaded the package you will get the files um, like i showed you within the previous video and uh, you can just copy this code and then paste it within your files so i did that and i have it here within this components folder of mine so if you can check it's um it's an accordion flash um uh, let me just copy it and show you what it does so i'm just going to take it from there and then i'm going to set this within a different container so here i'll say container all right and then i'm gonna paste it there okay so let me do this all right so let me do that and paste it here Okay, so let's check it out within the page. So, all right, so let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Uh, you know what? I want all the containers to just have um, the margin from the bottom and top. So I'll say container. And then say margin. Top and bottom, I'll say, uh, let's just say 10 pixels and then zero pixels from the left and right, right? Uh, no, it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. The reason being is that by default, the container, how it's set up is this. It has margin auto on the side. That is why when now when I set that up, it was floating to the left. But if I put that back, as you can see, um, it's both got, um, what you call it, uh, margin uh, top and bottom. But in any case, um, because these elements are sitting within the container, they now, they now have uh, the, 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 um, the menu at the top looks big. I don't know if you should leave it like that, but set up all these elements to have margin bottom one by one it's going to be tedious but in any case let's just leave it for now in any case yeah this is sitting within a container so if you click here it should do a drop a drop down this is how i set up the account where it, the name of the account will display here and if you want to see more contents it will show the balance the account number the account name uh when it was created etc so this is the this is where how we're gonna list all the accounts so again for this uh for this component to work this accordion you need uh you need the uh you need both the bundle uh bootstrap bundle.js and then also uh the bootstrap.css file otherwise it will not work so again if you did download the 
um, bootstrap package, you should be able to get uh, the code for this um, within the um, components uh, that, the, that comes with that package. So like I said, all I did was just open this up and then I copied from where it says end of example and then to where this particular example starts. So all you have to do is just copy that and then just put it in a file or something and just save it. And then whenever you need it, you can just take it from there and then paste it wherever you want within your within your application. So um, that's it in terms of the, this is gonna be the default of what's gonna show after you've added an account. So now I'm gonna add another item down here, right? Okay, so for that, um, we can close this. So um, down here where it says end of accordion drop down, right? Uh, hold on. Let me just see. Um, no, this is what's supposed to be the the comment at the end there. Yeah, this is what's supposed to show, not that container. And then here I'll just say end of, right? Because it's this accordion is sitting within a container. All right, so now here, I'll just add another container. Okay, so now I'm gonna code I'm gonna code all of this out and then I'll explain uh, afterwards. So just watch there. Okay, then in here I'm gonna add a card. Okay, so in here we'll do a card body. Okay, so the first one is gonna be an H1 tag, right? And then this is gonna be a card title. And then we're going to set an icon uh, class. Okay, I think this one was a FAS, an FA, I think it was Ben. Uh, yes, and then the text is going to be danger. And then here we're going to say. Right, so let's check it out. Okay, um, even though it's big, but it's fine. All right, and then what do we need to do? Um, we need to add a, a some some text here saying. Uh, sorry. By the way, I don't know if any of you have been watching my videos, but if you have, if you noticed, I always do this. And that's simply because I always find it difficult to follow or to find my elements on the page. So that is why when I do commenting, I'm doing it like this, just to see where I am. So yeah, in any case, uh, here we're gonna say card text. Okay, so we'll say are uh, you currently uh, 
that do not have any registered accounts, right? Let's just put a BR tag there. Uh, please click below to um, register a new register add a new account right okay let's check that out okay so here let, I think we should put a BR I mean an uh, HR tag there just to have it separated all right and then um, here we can add a button so now we're gonna take the same button that we set up up here right um, we'll paste it right before it says end of card text or right after the card text right um, let me see oh, let's just see how it looks with that uh, looks disoriented with that color there so this one we can remove this ID and then in here we can just say PTN primary uh, I think this is how I, this is the color I used when I uh, when I first created the in the in the demo intro or when I first created the project so let's just create some spacing there um, we just put a BR tag there Right, so this will definitely call the same uh, off canvas uh, that we set up for that button. So it's the same thing. Um, now, yeah, let me explain what this is for. So remember, when the user first registers within the system, um, obviously they're not going to have accounts. So it makes no sense to show these two buttons here, right? And a list of all of the icons um, that are showing. So when they first log on, before they um they can see any of these elements that we created here at the top, the two buttons plus this accordion menu, um it's gonna display this. But don't stress about this. For now, I'm just showing this now on the dashboard. But when we move to JSPs, depending on the conditions we set, uh, the page is either gonna show this if you have accounts, or it's gonna show this component here that we just created for the no registered accounts card if you don't have any accounts and this will only show at first logon if you don't have any accounts so uh, for now we can add it within this particular um, what you call it uh, page uh, and for now um, but when we move over to JSPs when we set our conditions um, it'll display either this component the one that shows add new account and transact and the accordion or oh, oh, by the way there's actually another thing we need to set up so right before the accordion, we're going to set up another container. So it's going to be container. Uh, all right, um, copy that. Okay, so we want to say end of that, right? So here, we say container. Uh, so here we'll say um, let's just add a span tag. Plus, we'll say um, uh, margin end. We will say auto. Uh, sorry. This is not a spend tag. Sorry about that. It's an H. Uh, let's say let's say H two, right? And give it a class of um, uh, margin end. We'll say auto, right? Right, and then same thing. We'll We'll create another h2 right and then here we'll say 
margin start m s right and then here we'll just display zero zero for now um okay and then for this to work we need to say d flex all right so let's come back all right so there it is there so let's just put some padding uh let's say p y that's margin and top and then we we'll just say that okay so remember we had where it was showing the uh, total accounts balance um, if you had any amounts within your accounts uh, it will display here so that calculates all the amounts that are in your account and all that but in any case yeah so this is what's going to show uh, this from this part here from the top here is what's going to show once you have accounts if you don't have accounts this is what's going to show that there are no registered accounts and then um, it will give you this button where you can add an account and then once you have an account this no registered accounts component here is not going to show it's only going to show this part at the top okay so um, that's all we need but like I said once we move over to JSPs, uh, once we set our conditions um, um, this will display other, uh, the conditions we set will, will display either one of these two components here all right, so um, I think that's it for the for this part of the video. Um, again, like I said, we're going to spread out these uh, components, I mean, the setup of the dashboard into multiple videos. So in the next one, uh, we should set up the forms for, I don't know if we should start with the accounts form or this one, but I think let's start with the transaction forms and the background for this offset of canvas body. Um, and then move over towards creating the other one as well. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for the video. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys within the next video. All right, cheers for now.